In our previous video, we installed this library React Native Vector icons like this library, but uh, I forgot one more thing which you need to do. If you go to documentation, you need to do some more stuff. You need to install this and you need to go to the Android section and you need to do this as well. So you need to paste this line in this Android app build grader, right? As your icon will not load up, right? So I will copy this line, control C instead and i will go to my uh android this android inside this app right uh, uh inside this app we have build gradle in here and i will paste this line in here control v right let's save this yeah so you need, you need to do that right in order to load your vector icons right as the vector icons will not show up okay so i will close this now again i will be closing my uh, this server and I will be starting this one more time by typing the npx react native run android. Okay, now let's work on our search screen component, right? Okay, so let first this development server start. Let's see, we didn't get any error, right? Let's make sure we don't get any errors, and it's done 99%. So it's take a little bit a while, right? That is why I made use of Expo, right? Because a development process is not that smoother with React Native, right? That is what that is the reason why uh, I choose Expo for for teaching purpose, right? Okay. So we'll be making use of first uh, text input in here. So I'll be pulling the text input and I will get rid of this text, right? And instead, here yeah, I will write text text input input and i will self close it and i will add a label and let's say a label will be city name and let's change the default theme which is a kind of a violet color i will be making this to a, a kind of a blue color so here we have access to colors and inside this we have access to primary so I'll be changing the primary color to a kind of a blue color. So here I can write hash 00 a -F -F, like so. And I will be making use of a use state hook. Right. So here pull out use state hook, use stat hook. And uh, in here I can write const and const. And this will be a kind of a city and set c i t o s t and then use state like so now in here i can sync the value value with the city right i can sync the value and i can attach here on text change i guess so txt or on change text uh, yeah on change text yeah this thing and in here i'll be passing text right and I will call this text set the set city simultaneously and I will be updating this text. So now our input text and this state are in sync with each other. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a look. Let's save this and let's have a look on our. Yeah. So this is looking beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'll be using a button component. Let's add or let's go to this and uh, let's search for B U W T O N instead. Okay and i will be copying this Control c first i need to import that button from in here like so and Control v oh Control v i'll open this again or i can close this instead okay tab tab okay uh, i will put everything on the new line i can change this camera to maybe content save to uh, to show a kind of a save kind of icon so i will write here c-o-n-t-e-n-t -E content dash save right and and yeah for now let's save this and let's have a look in here right so we have this button right so we'll be changing again the default theme of this right so i will be changing the default theme so for that i will be writing this theme and inside this theme we have access to colors and again uh, or we can just copy this right Control C and Control V like so. Let's save this and I will be adding a little bit style and a little bit margin, right? So let's give this a style and margin 
uh, of let's say 20 maybe like so let's save this and let's have a look now yeah it is beautiful now i need to change the text color of this right so uh, i can wrap this press me with the text component right and i will put this press me inside the text because i want to customize that right and in here i will be adding the style and i'll be adding a color right oh color and color of white let's save this and have a look now you can see the press me so this is fine for now so what i will do now i will create a one more state const and let's give the name of CITIES. So we'll be making a network request now. And set CITIES. Set it is. And initially this will be uh, an empty array basically. Okay. Now we'll be creating a separate function. Let's say const fetch CITIES like so. And this will receive a text in here. Right okay so we'll be calling this function every time we type something so every time we type something so instead of uh, calling the set city i will call fetch city fetch city and i'll be passing this text in here right inside this i can update the state as well i was doing earlier so i can write here set or oh, set oh, set city c i t y set city and here in text like so and i'll make i'll be making a network request now so i'll be using this fetch right now you can type uh, the url as i am typing https make sure you you always use https because your request may fail if you put uh, http right okay so make sure always you put https because react native ignores the request with http okay so always make sure you use http okay now here right here a u t o C O M P L E T autocomplete dot W U N D R G R O U N D W underground dot com and slash A Q A Q and question mark and Q U E R Y and I want to concat the text now. So uh, I can make use of back text or I can here use plus and I will concat whatever text I am receiving from me here, right? Okay, so now I will, this will return me a prompt, so I will chain on then, right, and uh, I will return, I will receive here item, and I will pass that item in JSON, and this again returns me up, then this again returns me a promise. so I will uh, cache that in another then, oh, what is this? And again, finally, I'll be receiving uh, receiving this cities, right? So maybe I can write C I T Y city data. And for now, what I will do, I will console dot log this C I T Y data. Okay, like so. So let's save this and let's have a look. And uh, this is our development server. Where is our development server? This is this is our development server. We'll be having a look on this console let me make this a little bit smaller so as soon as i type it in here let's say i'll be typing l o n d o n oh so it is it is fetching right so as soon as i type it is fetching a lot of stuff so here you can see the results kind of it has logged this again it has logged this so it has made so many logs right okay so inside this log you can see we have this results and inside the result i want to see uh the name where is the name name here we can see we have this name so first we we typed uh l o n d so it is showing the session right so it is showing the session right so let's look on to the last console or last log so here you can see it is it has shown the l o n d o u session okay yeah so yeah we can make use of this right so we can access this name right so our suggestions are inside this name key right so we can access that okay but you know when we type out it gives lots of objects inside this result inside this result array we have lots of object uh, let's say this is the first object and it is where it is ending it is ending in here 
right and then and again we have second object and likewise we have lots of objects so we'll be just slicing it down to 10 let's say right okay so now i will be updating my set right so if the result is fetched so instead of console.log i'll update my state set cities right this is basically an array and set cities i'll be pushing only the 10 uh, uh this 10 uh, objects right so i'll write here set cities uh, city data c i t y d a t a right and from the, the data is lying inside results so capital n capital r e s u l t s let's let me look onto the uh, spelling of that again uh, it is lying inside r e s okay in capital and i will slice it down i will slice it down oh not in capital slice it down to 10 0 to 9 let's say okay yeah and now we can make use of flat list yes or oh, not flat list will be coming from react native we'll be making car use of card as well so i'll be importing card from india right okay oh not in this we are importing it from the top like so so now in, after this button ends we can make use of flat list and i will self close it right and i will give a couple of props in here so first prop is the data and data will be coming from cities i guess yeah cities it is basically an and right now this is an empty right so this will not show anything once the data is being fetched then it will show something so and here is this is render item right and so inside this render item there is a function from function we can destructure the item item right and and i will return the card component in here right so we'll be returning card component which we are getting from react native paper right and i will self close it and uh, let's add a little bit of style to this so I'll be adding a little margin and padding right so I'll be adding margin of let's say 2 and I will be adding a padding of let's say 12 right and yeah this is it for now okay and oh I don't want to self close this card instead I want ending as well and inside this card we'll be adding our text component right and inside this test text component i can extract from item the name right the name of the city like so and yeah and i can make use of another prop that is key extractor to add keys dynamically so here i have received access to the item and uh, we can make the name as unique right name as a unique so I can just add the key as our name itself Okay, so name is basically unique because this is not a simple name. This is uh, this names uh, comes along with the where is this a kind of a What is this? This is maybe this is a country or I don't know. Yeah, okay. Let's save this Let's save this and we'll have a look on our application now. So right now nothing is being displayed So I will cancel this everything we should see something in here so we are getting all the cities so let's type something let's say p a r i s paris so it is giving me session oh i write parrot paris like so it is giving me session paris france paris a paris texas and all those stuff i will search where i live so i'll search for Durup, which is in india and we can see we have this session so we are getting nice session in here and we can scroll as well okay so this is beautiful Okay, so I think this is it for now. We'll be working on more components in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next video.